First of all, we're going to do a little search for a client uh, called Smith. We type in a little bit of a surname and the system will show us any Smiths that match um, that, that uh, search that we entered in. We can put in first name or surname to get whatever we want. Uh, we're looking at the client screen now and you can see by tapping on a phone number, the system can actually make the phone call. We've got mobile numbers in there, home and work numbers in there. Even uh, email addresses can be included um, should the client have an email address. It can be emailed directly from uh, the device. By clicking on the map tab, we can see uh, the location of the client. Uh, and because it's Google Maps, we can actually get directions using the, the mapping function. Uh, we've got the um, note area here where we can enter in notes uh, about the client and we can uh, see notes made uh, on the system at an earlier point if they are present. Uh, the camera built into the device can be used to take a photograph and um, we can uh, include a file of something that the, the camera has taken through its own built-in unit. Um, by clicking on bills we can see a list of all the bills that were generated on the device including any receipts. Create a new bill, click on the bill button and do a search for, in this case, visit fees. Now we see a list of the different visit fees. Click on the one we want with our finger and then click yes to select the correct quantity. Uh, we can now do a find for a drug, let's say Betamox, so BETA for Betamox. Type that in, shows us how many records it has found. Select the one that uh, suits our needs. We can put in a tag number or identifier in at this stage if we wish for that particular item, save it, and when we're ready, we can click on the View Bill button at the bottom of the screen. If we need to, we can click on the quantity and change the quantity as necessary. It seems to change that there to 10, and we click OK. And you can see that immediately updates the total. And when we're ready, we can click on the Email button at the bottom it asks us do we want to finish this bill and we can put a little note on the bill uh, just to identify one from the other. So we can type in lame cow and now it asks us do we want to email this transaction. We can email the transaction or we can email the prescriptions or the scripts directly to the client. So that's going through there now and we get a message saying the email has been sent successfully. And when we click on the end button up on the right, it brings us back to the client screen. Should the client decide they want to pay, we can click on the pay button. And then we just enter the amount that they are paying us. And we can choose how they are paying also. You can see that uh, we've got options cash, check or other, if it's some other method of payment.